Let's just kick this off. But we're back. Hold on, I'm going to get Kate back in here. I don't know why that kicked us off. One second. I think once Kate... Re I'm back. I don't I'm know what through. happened. All I know is it said countdown to end of video, and it was like a 20-second countdown. Are we on here too long? Oh, is there a time limit? It's like an hour. Yeah, I guess an hour is up. Oh. Oh, well. I we should keep I going, huh? They such <laughs> stringent regulations on us. I don't know, but your, your answer was really good, so I want to... We should just finish that answer for sure. Yes, the... I can't even remember what I was saying, Kiana, <laughs> What was I talking about? <laughs> it was the LGBT, oh, the LGBT representation yeah. and yeah. So up until up until I was on Wentworth, um, well, a I never had social media before before this, uh, so I didn't ever see the reaction that I got from work that I'd done previously. I think I had Twitter for like a month, and I had Facebook for a while when I was younger, but I, I've never really had a platform. <laughs> That's there, there goes the dogs. <laughs> um, I never really had a, a platform I should see if I can get penny which here. I could gauge the reaction of the fans. And so um, being on Wentworth was really the first time that I had a direct link with the people that were watching my work and knowing that it in some way has helped people feel visible or helped people feel connected or helped people feel that they're not alone or that they're who they are is valid and worthy. That's, uh, that's I, never, I never thought that I would get from this, from this career. And that's Where's probably Penny? the thing. <laughs> Hello, buddy. That's probably the thing that I am most grateful for. Yeah. I think, um, I think it means a lot to people. Obviously, the whole scene of, um, I know it wasn't a scene with Allie, but the fuck the label scene and, you know, struggling with oneself and finding love and acceptance and things like that. I think that a lot of people resonate with that and um, appreciate the characters for telling a story. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. And what I really, what I especially like about Wentworth is that the character, the, the representation that we have on the show, for the most part, I feel like the, char the, the minority characters that we represent on this show, we never see them so much struggling with their identity as just simply being people who own their their genders their sexuality their their um their identity uh we don't we're not really um yeah we're, we're basically just portraying people who are truly themselves and have claimed ownership of of who they are and how they identify and that's really nice too because, um, you know, in, in years gone by, it was that the, the minority characters or the representation of, of gay people or trans people on our screens were were the, the characters that were struggling or that had to be closeted or that was sort of the focal point of their stories, whereas in Wentworth, those characters just are them. They just are who they are. And yeah, I, I, I like that. Yeah, stop. Okay. <clears throat> do you want more questions or should we uh, call yeah, it a day go, and do this again? Should we go for, um, maybe should we do two more questions and then wrap it up? Yeah, we could do These it. These guys need to go for a walk. Let me see. We have a ton on here. Um, oh, that's a person. Do you want a personal question or do you want a Wentworth question? Oh, well, let's see. Let's see how personal it is. <laughs> this one says, describe yourself in three words. Ah. That's a good one. Oh, my gosh. That is a good one. Uh, dog obsessed. I know that's technically. 
That's technically two words, but we'll say that it's hyphenated in one word. Uh, uh, generous. It's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I think that's sort of one of the most, it's one of the qualities that I, admire most in people and it's people are giving you the three words in the chat do you see oh. this oh really hilarious check this out oh, my gosh that's so lovely god you guys are doing much better than me honest uh, funny and confident oh thank you i'll take it um <laughs> I, I think my third word would be hungry <laughs> always hungry I think it's it's funny. One of the things I heard from a lot of fans from uh, Jersey, they were like, we definitely wanted to bring snacks because we know that Kate likes snacks. And then during, <laughs> during, during the autographs, yeah. you were just eating snacks the whole time. And I was like, I okay, had, well. There's this running gag with Jackie Brennan who plays Linda Miles on the show. And literally every time she sees me, I've got some kind of snack in my mouth like she'll walk in to ask me a question and I've got a sandwich in my mouth or <laughs> she'll see me she'll see me at the the drink station and I'm like shoving biscuits into my mouth yeah she's she's always laughing about the fact that I'm just constantly constantly eating <laughs> I'm like a kid that got that has worms oh my god <laughs> my mom well, I know say, if you can believe it, even as a kid, I ate more as a kid than I do now. And my mum would always say, oh, Kate, it's like you've got worms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, okay, so let's end it with this because this is pretty good. I mean, I had a couple of questions like this one, but I'm going to post this and then I'm going to ask the other one. Someone so... says female Brad Pitt. Thank you. Okay. That, I'll take it. I'll yeah. Take it. That guy is well preserved. <laughs> uh so someone said do you have another series or project as your next project and then on top of that i had another one there that said how is it working on dr doctor are you doing that actively now um and how is it working with nicole on there so maybe it's a couple of questions but okay all right let's see if i can get to all of them uh yes so i have been filming a show called five bedrooms concurrently with Wentworth um, and that's a show I did last season uh, so there's already a, a season of that out on Australian TV it's on channel 10 in Australia and I think it just got sold to NBC in America uh, so I've been filming that but unfortunately obviously due to um, everything that's been happening that show has had to close its doors too and I, I, I had a little bit more work that I needed to do on that but I'm hoping that we can finish that at some point because that is possibly my favourite character that I have ever played. I know one, one of the questions that I was asked quite a lot on, um, in my feed was what, what has been my favourite character. And I think, that, I think that Melanie from Five Bedrooms is potentially my favourite ever character because she is, she is pathologically narcissistic uh, hilarious but she doesn't realize she's being hilarious so self-centered and self-absorbed but yet somehow very delightful um and so that that has been a real joy to play especially in comparison to Wentworth which as much as I love Ali you know it's very different she, she doesn't have she doesn't have many happy days Ali. Um, and so it's fun. It's fun to go onto a set where it's just, it's just fun and laughter the whole time. And that's kind of what it felt like on Dr. Doctor as well. I film, I finished filming that last year and the character was uh, so confident and ballsy and sure of herself and talented. Uh, and it was really uplifting in a way to play a character who was so smart and sure of herself I feel I feel like I feel like that kind of rubbed off on me a little bit I was feeling very good about myself <laughs> when I was filming that um I really really enjoyed working on Dr Doctor as well and sadly I didn't really have many scenes with Nicole at all um Nicole and I actually joked when I started on that show that we should we should start tweeting out 
I can't wait, can't wait to see, um, I can't wait for you guys to see all the kissing scenes that I have with Nicole on Dr. Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Just to tease you guys, but no, sadly. Sadly, no storyline for um, Charlie and Tara. But, um, and again, that's, that's one show that, you know, the future is unclear with uh, our industry at the moment. It's just very, yeah. very testing times. And I would dearly love to work on that show again because it's, it was a breath of fresh air, as was Five Bedrooms. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll just have to take it one day at a time. But yeah. hopefully, hopefully in the next year or so i'll have three shows coming out for you guys to watch so dr doctor is still airing dr doctor is still airing uh five bedrooms if we can complete it will air later on this year okay or next year and then when work comes back yeah well we've already filmed one we've finished one season we've finished season eight of wentworth so that will definitely be coming at you in june i think uh Mm -hmm. And then hopefully we can get back to filming ASAP if we can all stay, if we can all stay isolated and do our bit for society. Yeah. So I think that's how we should close this. I think um, as hard as it is and as much as we want to get back out there to normalcy and all work our normal jobs and go be social again um, and, and do Wentworth cons and, and meet and greets and stuff like that. Right now, we all need to, to do our part and um, think of others before we think of ourselves. Because I know right now I'm personally self-isolating because my mom is in poor health and I want to make sure that I'm healthy for her. And um, for everybody else out there that's younger or healthy, um, yeah. we need to think about the elderly and the, the people who are more at risk. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I, that's so well said. Um, I couldn't have said it better myself. And also I'm, I'm not sure how much of this is being reported in other countries. It's not really being reported so much in Australia, uh, but there is a finite amount of intensive care beds in each country. In Italy, I yeah. think they only have 6,000 ICU beds. In Australia, it's less. I think we only have 2,000 ICU beds. And if someone gets sick, if we get to the point with this virus, uh, where all of those beds are filled, then they are gonna, um, they're unfortunately gonna get to the point where they're at in Italy, where they have to choose who gets an ICU bed and who doesn't. And the elderly are not going to be prioritized. And it's just the most sickening and sad decision for any, any person, for any doctor, any medical practitioner to have to make is to choose between to, was to choose who dies and who doesn't. And so I think, sorry to, you know, turn this into a downer, but it is important to talk about, I think, that yeah. we, we have a responsibility to do everything we can to contain this so that in, in the future we, we don't have to make the choice about who yeah. gets treated and who doesn't. If we can stem the flow of this, then hopefully everybody can be treated because then it can just be treated like a, a flu in any other flu season. Um, but what's important is that we not overwhelm our hospital system. Our hospitals, exactly. And that's, that's kind of where we are in the U.S. as well. We're trying to all self-isolate just so that we, you know, if, and, and they've been saying if you don't, don't feel well, just stay home. You know, yeah. if you can treat it at home until you get that bad, um, don't fill the hospital beds for, for, for people who need to be there. Um, and I think that's what we all need to keep in mind is, is it's more than just a night out or, uh, you know, let's go out for a drink or it, we should really just all play our part and stay safe and, and, um, take this seriously. So we're doing that obviously. And I'm so glad that we did this because I see yeah, a lot of people too. in there that are all happy, um, that we did this and, um, eventually depending on how long this will last, uh, we'll all be together again and we'll be able to hug each other and yes. celebrate. Yeah, that, that, that would be great. I, um, I have confidence that that will be a, that will be the case. And I think that if we can just bunker down and do the right thing for the next month or so as, you know, as difficult and as boring at times as it will be, that's the right thing to do. And, and we're so lucky that we have tools like this to keep yeah. ourselves connected and entertained 
Yeah. For sure. Well, thank you so much. And I'm sure we'll do this again soon. I can't wait. Thank you, Kiana. You've made my day. Uh, I think we've made a lot of other people's days. Oh, well, thank you guys for tuning in. It's, um, it's been a wonderful Sunday morning for me. Yeah. Thank you guys. I hope this provided you guys with some escapement uh, for the time being and stay tuned for more. Hopefully we have Kate back on and we'll see you soon. See you guys.